Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky, and today we're gonna use these tarot cards to ask the dirty question, Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, did you guys hook up when you were shooting the Barbie movie? I'm just wondering. Okay, now I'm cutting the cards, like so. You know, I don't mean any disrespect to Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling and their respective relationships. So Ryan Gosling, we know he has been the long-term partner of Eva Mendez, I think since 2008 or something like that. They are not married, but they do have two children together and they live in California. They recently sold their Los Angeles home and they're, I imagine they're somewhere floating around the state. And as far as the state of California is concerned, they are husband and wife and she is entitled to all of his assets and all of his salary and blah, 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 blah. So there's that. Margot Robbie is married. She married Tom Ackerley. I believe they met on set. He was one of the ADs on one of her film projects. They married in 2016. Now he's a film producer, filmmaker. They created a production company together, which is what you do when your spouse is a celebrity. You say, I'm going to stop, you know, putting down gaff tape on set and I'm going to start calling the shots. So that's what they've done. I am here to have us all fly back down to earth because actors, non-famous actors, famous actors, celebrities, non-recognizable faces, semi-recognizable faces, actors hook up on set a lot. Not all of them, but it's, it's it's common enough that people don't really bat an eye when they get the vibe that like those two actors are hooking up like in their trailers or in their hotel rooms. And why does it happen? A variety of reasons, you know. Famous actors are very self-indulgent, they're used to being indulged, they're used to getting what they want, they don't have strong impulse control, and they have a very strong mechanism to rationalize it, where they view it's not cheating, we're rehearsing, like we need to form an emotional connection, so they have a host of excuses that they can give for this type of behavior. So there's that. Ryan Gosling, I heard for years, was hooking on and off with Emma Stone. I didn't hear that Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling were serious. I heard that they were friends that were hooking up with each other, you know, from time to time. So that's what I heard. Again, alleged, alleged. Keep in mind, you know, so many actors, they love their spouses, they love their husbands, they love their wives, they don't want to disrupt their lives. They either just want to have fun, surrender to, you know, their impulses, release anxiety on set. They need a distraction from all the pressure that they're under. I mean, the list goes on and on. I mean, there's a lot. Let me just say this. Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie, they're compatible. So, you know, we, they got that going on. So Ryan, as we know, he's a Scorpio. I know who all the other Scorpios are in the industry. I'm a November Scorpio, so is Ryan. He's got a Pisces rising and a Capricorn moon. So he's water heavy. So it makes sense that he went into the arts, particularly acting, deeply emotional, needing to like dig deep, get in touch with those juicier, more fragile emotions. So he has an immediate chart that supports that. And also, you know, whenever a man has Pisces in his immediate chart, I note it because Pisces, the two fish swimming in opposite directions, they can sometimes be very conflicted. You know, sometimes, you know, they just don't know what kind of butter to buy at the store. They're like, oh, someone help me make a decision. But sometimes, you know, they want two different things at the same time. And I've seen a lot of people, both men and women, who have issues being faithful to their significant other who have Pisces in their immediate chart. I've seen that for years. His Capricorn moon, I would imagine he's very stubborn in an argument. I would imagine someone who would always think that they're right would really latch on to a position or who might approach conflict in a very logical manner. Margot Robbie is all water, so she's a Cancer Sun with a Cancer Rising and a Scorpio Moon. The Scorpio Moon's very sturdy, that's good, so that means she can handle a lot of darker emotions, but like, this woman's emotional. Like, she's feeling everything. She's feeling all the feels. You know, the, the Scorpio Moon in her is the, the side of her that was able to, you know, latch onto Harley Quinn and the darkness and the absurdity of that character, and who could like deal with someone like Jared Leto on set. You know, I'm sure she has her warm and fuzzy sides. We just don't really see a lot of that on screen. But with all this cancer in her immediate chart, she, she likes being home. You know, she likes being close and hugging and nurturing and all that warm and gooey stuff that we know cancer is to have. As someone with a chart like this would be deeply affected by uh, 
the faces of the moon because cancer is ruled by the moon. So Ryan and Margo, deeply compatible. Eva Mendez and Ryan Gosling, also very compatible. She's a Pisces, goes great with his Scorpio sun. She does have a Leo moon, so that would be the only hiccup there because a Leo moon with a person with a Capricorn moon, that to me says two very stubborn people in conflict, two people who could potentially go off on each other if they were provoked. All right, so let's just start pulling some cards, folks. That was Margo, Ryan, Margo. Ryan helping or hurting the situation and what was the bottom line okay so Margot's external vibe towards Ryan interesting all right so we got the star so the star is a major arcana card this is a card of intuition one's higher self of course okay so not the baser emotions but one's higher self so there's a sense of a connection instinct one's inner navigational system so it means that she was either connecting with her higher self and keeping things on the up and up or it means that they really connected or it means that this was like celestial in some ways so let's keep pulling all right Ryan's external vibe towards Margot. Okay, so that's interesting. So they got the two of wands in reverse. This is very interesting. So two of wands upright means out with the old, in with the new. So with this in reverse, this is in with the old, out with the new. So it suggests two things. He's not trying to swap out his wands. So I know that sounds very crass, but like the two of wands upright, it's a card of kind of like upgrading. Like this is a card that comes up when you're like ready to let go of like a person person or a situation from your past that's just not really serving you and move on and reach for that better one. So this is a card that I got when I was like removing a friend from my life and becoming closer with like a much better friend and sort of having that kind of upgrade. So when this card comes up in reverse it means like there's no need to upgrade, your the wand that you have is perfectly fine, or it means that the upgrade is happening and it's just happening slowly and in secret. So we gotta keep pulling cards. Now let's see what was going on internally with Margot towards Ryan Gosling. Interesting. All right, so we just got the, the Eight of Wands. This is just a card of speed, completion, your eye on a goal and wanting to meet it very quickly and without interruption. So this means one of two things. She was either just focused on work and the work schedule and getting everything done ASAP, because you know what, now that I think of it, like her husband may have been on set, which makes this reading very funny to everyone involved, especially me. Like she may have just been focused on the prize and the completion of the goal is what this means. Or she was maybe be tearing his clothes off from the get-go but I doubt it <laughs> so okay now let's see what was going on internally with Ryan towards Margot oh okay interesting so interesting okay so we got the world so the world's a major arcana card and it's a card of pressure you know the boundaries of the card you know remind us that you need pressure to make a diamond or to make a baby it's a card that can come up literally for travel where someone's literally traveling around the world or they're just focused on their immediate world with their immediate boundaries so it's not a sexy card it's not a romantic card i mean sure you can interpret it to mean like she was his world but it's it's not coming through that energetically so it's it's either that like he was focused on like his domestic life or he was just focused on like the world of the set the boundaries there and it's also ruled by Saturn which is a, a planet of like tradition and doing things the right way and time and setbacks now let's see what was helping or hurting the situation okay all right interesting so another non-sexy card we got the four of pentacles so this is a card of hoarding greed hoarding resources hoarding money time so or it can just be literally like holding on to what one has based on this card i'm getting that no, no there was no dalliances none uh, based on this card both parties appear to be holding on to what they have so i know this is, this is getting underwhelming okay so now let's see what the bottom line was oh Now I really don't know what the bottom line was. So we got justice inverted. So this is a card that I would think that we would get upright. So 
justice is man-made justice, you know, karmic reckoning, fairness, doing things according to what is right and fair for society and for the parties involved. This is one of those major arcana cards that when it comes up in reverse, we really have to pay attention to it. Oh, you know what that card could mean? It could just mean that the guides are saying that like, oh, of course they didn't hook up because that would have been unfair to everyone involved. That could be what it means. None of these cards were screaming infidelity. I don't know, comment below, like, subscribe. That's what I've got for you guys. And as always, we'll do this again.